name is building with bricks please press the subscribe button to support my channel and also to get additional videos as a notification kindly subscribe so let's start into the lesson building with bricks on this lesson we are going to learn bricks and bricks patterns in jagati school how to draw a brick wall patterns shape of a brick and mental math brick patterns for jagati school this is a true story of jagati school which is located in mushirabad which is at west bengal which is in west bengal india so when it is building was being made when its building was being made there was a plan to make brick patterns on the wall and the floor so while building they thought that we should make a wonderful floor and a wall pattern so jamal kalu and pr they were the mason for the brick works so these three persons are the masons for the brick work for the school so these three wanted to get a new ideas for school building so they want to wanted to make new brick patterns on the walls and floors so they took another friend to see the old tomb of mushid kul khan see the photo so this is the picture of old tomb of mushid kul khan see it is a very huge building and an ancient building which means a very old building so this building has big floor and about 2000 beautiful brick patterns so there are lot of beautiful brick patterns inside this building that's the reason the three masons wanted to visit this building these were made up by mason long back so this building was made a very long back about 300 years ago so this was built before 300 years look how the bricks are arranged in these five floor patterns let's see one by one first pattern is in a zigzag second pattern it's like a diamond design third pattern and fourth it's a cross design and the fifth pattern it's like an arch so question which floor pattern do you like most so which pattern you like most if you like four you can write the option four have you seen such pictures anywhere you can write s yes or no if you seen this picture anywhere you can write s yes. if you haven't seen you can write no so now the three masons are back after visiting the old building and they came back with a excitement and jamal said in those days they had so many interesting brick patterns so the many interesting brick patterns was there but we had forgotten these days so they decided to make a very good design on this floor for this school so each mason made brick pattern so there were three masons right so different patterns they made on the school the school is so proud to have such a beautiful building children plays and sings on it and also they made their own pattern themselves so now we can see a list of a patterns work by the brick so let's see a b c d e f g h i j k so there are 11 patterns so the question is which pattern is made in a circle so can you see which pattern has a circle uh, i think it's j j has a circle pattern so the next question is which pattern can you show a mirror of so mirror of in the sense if you divide the image into two it should have the same image there should be no change so uh h h is having the mirror of so now draw some new floor patterns so i will show an example so you also practice and draw the floor patterns so how to draw a brick brick these are two photos of the same brick in one photo we can easily see one face of the brick 
and in another we can see three faces circle the photo shown in three faces first let's see the brick which has only one face so i marked f which means this brick is having only one face let's see the brick which on the top so this brick is having three faces the top face the side face and the front face so we need to circle this brick which is having three faces now let's find how many faces in all does a brick have so how many faces does a brick have brick has six faces so we can see on the above image and is there any face of a square does a brick has a square face no the brick has only a rectangular face the third question draw a smallest face of the brick so the front face which is having the triangular shape is the smallest face of the brick and these three questions are important questions which of these are the faces of a brick mark a tick so we all know a brick has a rectangular face so let's tick the rectangle so this is a rectangle face and the second one is also rectangle which of these is a drawing of a brick let's mark a tick so we all know a brick has a rectangular face so the second one and the fourth one both are having rectangular faces make a drawing of this box to show three of its faces so let's draw a box to show three of its faces so we have three faces top face front face and the side face can you make a drawing of a brick which show which shows four of its faces no that is not possible in a drawing we can able to see only three faces of a brick so the answer is no a wall that will not fall one day munia and zainab are playing with bricks and making their walls each makes a different wall the first wall is zainab and the second wall is munia and these both walls are in a different pattern so zainab says that a wall will not fall easily and mason too do not put bricks one top of another one as munia has done zainab wall will be stronger because if we notice the one brick it has been supported by another brick see the top brick and there is another two bricks at the bottom so the two bricks are supporting the top brick likewise the last row we have three bricks those bricks are supporting the middle row so likewise so this wall will be stronger and it is very very difficult to break but in munia's wall if you just break the first brick the entire row will fall down because there is no support on this wall different wall patterns here are photos of three kinds of brick walls can you see the difference in the way the brick are placed yes when we see the first wall there is a big brick next to that there is a small brick on the second image it's like a vertical a big brick is placed again a small but it is upside down on the third image there is one row of big brick and the second row they have placed the small one now let's match to the correct wall yes this is the correct option so looking through a brick jali jali means uh, so the mason will make few designs using the bricks shown above the picture so you can able to see using the jali you want to look outside you can see through the jali the mason who built jagriti school had also made different jali pattern on the walls so we can see the jali pattern now and we will count how many different types of jali pattern on this school or which is shown on this image let's count it so we have four different types of jali pattern here this is the first one which is looks like a a butterfly pattern the second one it's a zigzag 
So the third one is having two narrow lines and the fourth one uh, it's something quite different but it looks beautiful. So now we have totally four different patterns of Jali on the shown image. This is a drawing of another beautiful Jali. See that image they have drawn a Jali image. Now color some bricks red and make your own Jali pattern in the wall drawn below. So there is a wall drawn below and we have to make a beautiful Jali. I will show you an example so you can make your own Jali design. Can you see the window in this photo of the school? So th this is the photo of the school which is made using the brick which is called Jaroka. So to make a window they will remove some bricks in the middle of the wall to make a design which is also known as Jaroka. Now draw some Jaroka patterns on the wall here. You can shade it in black. So I will give you an example of this also so that you can do other samples. This Jali is from a library building in Kerala. So see this building, the Jali design is looking amazing. So the mason has done a beautiful work using this bricks. See how the edge of the bricks, it is used to make a triangle in the wall. So see that picture, the triangle the image is shown. So have you seen bricks that look like triangles? Look at these bricks around the tree on this photo. It is arranged in sideways which looks like a triangle. Do you see the arch in this photo? See that blue color line that is called as an arch. This is from the school in Faizabad. So this Jali design has been taken from a school named Faiza, which is in Faizabad. Find out, look for other arches around you and draw them. So next we will see an arch. Have you seen an arch in a bridge? See there is an arch in the bridge. Where else have you seen an arch? So you need to write where else you have seen an arch. You can write rainbow and a tunnel. So Jamal and Kalu, the masons of Jagriti school, said that their grandfathers used many different kinds of bricks. Some of these are shown in this picture. So see this picture we have few different kind of bricks. There are small one, big one, flat one and thin one. The first question, which of these bricks have curved edges? So which brick is having a curved edge? So we have two bricks which is having curved edges. So the second one, how many faces do you see of the longest brick? So this is the longest brick but we can able to see only one face, the top face of this brick. The last one. Is there any brick which has more than six faces? No, that is not possible because the bricks will have only six faces. More than six faces, it is not possible. So the answer is no. Find out the size of a brick. Have you seen brick of different sizes? Take one brick and measure it. How long it is? how wide it is, how high it is. Okay, let's take one brick now with those measurements. So look at this brick now. This brick is 7.48 long and the width is 3.45 and the height is 3.54 inches. So let's fill in the blanks. Munia wants to make a wall 1 meter long. How many bricks will she need to put in a line? So 1 meter long is approximately 38 to 40 inches. So when you divide 40 inches by 7, almost 5 or 6 bricks is needed to make 1 meter long wall. Bricks and bricks, hot and fresh. Ganesh and Shaiba live near a clin where bricks are made. 
look at this picture we have lot of bricks arranged and there is a very big chimney so the question is can you guess how high is the chimney here this on this image the chimney is very very high it's not about 5 meter or 50 meter it should be almost 100 meters so we have only 50 meter option so we are selecting 50 meters ganesh and shaiba love to look at the pattern of the brick in the long long line kept out to dry they also watch how bricks are made here are four pictures from the bricklin these pictures are jumbled up look at them carefully write the order correctly the first picture the bricks are arranged in a row and the second picture the bricks are drying out in a sun on the third picture the bricks is made into a shape on the fourth picture soil dug from the earth so now rearrange this pictures to make the correct order so the order is first we need to dug the soil from the earth the second one we need to mix it up with water and make a shape and the third one is we need to dry out in the sun and the fourth option is we need to arrange all the bricks in a row so the, now the correct order is c d b and a so now we will see mental math bhajan's buy bricks bhajan went to buy bricks the price was given for 1000 bricks so 1000 bricks they have given the price the prices were also different for different type of bricks so for old bricks 1200 for 1000 bricks new bricks from in patpur 1800 for 1000 bricks and new bricks from prakhandbad that is 2000 rupees for 1000 brick bajan decided to buy new bricks from prakhandbad so which is 2000 rupees for 1000 bricks he bought 3000 bricks how much did he pay so 1000 bricks is 2000 so he bought to he bought 3000 bricks so 3000 which is 3 times so 3 into 2000 so he, sh he should pay 6000 rupees to buy 3000 bricks guess what he will pay if he buys 5000 old bricks so old bricks 1200 for 1000 bricks so he need to pay 1200 if he is buying 1000 bricks but he is buying only 500 bricks so we need to divide 1200 divided by 2 which is half so half is 600 so he need to pay 600 rupees to buy 500 bricks now we come to the end of the lesson I hope each and every part of this lesson was understandable. So on the next video I will share some sample worksheet on this lesson along with the sums. So we will practice some sums and I will give you the sample worksheet along with that, okay? So time to practice now. So once you have completed the end of this lesson along with the worksheet video, download the worksheet and practice as many times as you can okay you can also send me an email on the description which i have given send me an email for additional worksheet all right so please do subscribe my channel for upcoming videos and have a good day students thank you for watching take care of yourself